five, four, three, two, one. Live from San Francisco, broadcasting around the world, you're listening to the Armand Wiggins Radio Show. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Armand, and we are back with another video. All right, so an Indianapolis woman was found dead yesterday after going after exposing two DL men on Facebook Live. All right, so she was shot, ran over. It was just a whole mess. So a lot of you guys have been asking me what my thought process was on this, how I felt about it. Do I think it was right? Do I think it was wrong? And I'm going to be honest with you. Some of y'all may not like what I'm going to say. However, these are my opinions, and it is what it is i think this is a situation of where dl um exposing dl people or exposing in general goes wrong i think she was dead wrong for what she did now for those that don't really know what happened i didn't watch the full video i'm going to be completely honest with you but i got the gist of what happened all right she was at someone's house she forgot her phone at the house went back to the house to grab her phone there was two men there. One of the men she had messed around with a long time ago. She was not currently dating him. Um, and she had seen him mess around with one of his homeboys. They they call, Allegedly, they were supposed to be like cousins. But, you know, I don't think they were cousins like that. I think it was more so like, this is my cousin. You know, it's my boy. Like, you know, whatever, whatever. You know how people do. Um, so they was messing around. She ended up watching him for a little bit. And she said once they realized that uh, she was watching, they had looked like some demons, right? And then they had chased her out of the house and told her they were going to kill her, chased her all the way out of the apartments. And, and, and um, she ran down to her car. Um, they they ended up having to stop because they were naked. Um, and so there was kids and stuff outside. So, you know, you can't expose yourself to the kids or whatever. So they ended up stopping. So she ended up saying, well, you know what? Well, if you want this whole thing to go away, we can make this go away. All you got to do is cash at me $5,000. So she wanted them to send her money. So now she's turning into an extortionist. Oh, yes. So she's now extorting them for cash. I don't believe that. I don't know. if they, I don't think she got the cash. So then she goes on Facebook Lives and feel like she needs to warn all the women of Indianapolis what's going on. Here's what's going on. You need to tell everybody these are, these are some gay men. These men are DL. And then she posts a man's picture talking about, look, this man is sitting up there with his cousin and him and his cousin is doing this, that, and the third. And she's got the throw up emojis like, uh, 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 uh. And, um, and then she's got the, the picture with the man on it captioned, gay bird. So shortly after that, maybe, you know, a few hours after that, she's driving in her car in her, her yellow Camaro and um, she's shot and she runs into another car and, and, and gets into a car accident. Police come and they come to the scene. They realize that this woman is now dead. Now they're, they're saying that one of the men are the sub sub suspects of, you know, doing this. And so here is my thought process on that. Um, I'm not going to say I don't feel bad for her because I don't want anybody to lose her life, but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. This is not nothing that that's surprising me. This is not nothing that this is not something that I would be like, oh, my God, I can't believe that this happened. Absolutely not. I definitely believe that why this happened. I feel like I understand why this happened. And I also feel like she brought this up on herself. I do feel like she brought this up on herself to a certain degree because she could have simply went and got her phone and left obviously they didn't hear her coming in to go get her phone so they didn't need to hear her coming out and she definitely didn't need to take it over to facebook live and it obviously didn't mean that much to her because she was trying to make some money off of it because she said that they drive a fifty thousand dollar car so they should be able to pay her okay so she's one of those messy women okay she's one of those messy females that that was probably that probably was Came into that room. I don't know this to be facts, but this is what's in my mind how it went down. Because I I see a lot of people saying, well, you know, um, 
you know, she was scared and, you know, they just wanted to attack her, this, that, and the third. I feel like she went in that house. She seen what was going on and she made a scene. Ugh, oh my God. Oh my God. You gay? Ugh, oh my God. This show, ain't that your cousin? I'm telling everybody, you gay. You some gay ass niggas. Y'all are hella gay. Ugh. And I wouldn't be surprised if later on down the road, once all the investigation and the autopsy and all the good stuff has come out to the light, that there wouldn't be some video footage of this woman picking up her phone and recording it and saying that she was going to leak this information. And that's why those men started to chase her down and tell her that they were going to get her. Like, you got to think, what would be a reason for them to chase her out the house and say that she is, they are going to kill her? If she wasn't taunting them, if you just seen something was like, oh my God, my bad. And just dipped or just got your shit and left. But no, you felt the need to, to go and make a scene in my mind. You felt the need to go make a scene and then you wanted to expose. Then you then went, went to your job and got on Facebook and started telling everybody what you had seen. Then you have made it, then she had made it seem like, oh yeah, and it was his cousin. Like, why would you even put that out there like it was his cousin like that, girl? You And you know, deep down, that probably was not his blood relative, his blood cousin like that. I cannot stand women women do that. Like, I don't, let me tell y'all, I don't play with, I don't play with those type of females. I do not play with these type of females that are very, 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 very messy. She wasn't even with the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, my thing is this. I can understand if you're talking to the dude, you're in a relationship. Some people are going to say that they messed around um, before. Who cares? Who gives a damn? There's a lot of people that you mess around with from, you know, years ago, and they move on or do something different. Who cares? They're still not, even if you mess with the nigga, you weren't messing with the nigga now. He wasn't your nigga. So why do you care who he's sleeping with? What does it behoove you? You were being messy. She was being messy. And she and she thought that she could, and she was talking real big. I got my pistols. We got hitters. We got niggas. Da, 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 da. See, what people need to realize is everybody is not, not about that life. Some people are actually about that life. So if you actually test people's gangsta or whatever, you're going to get the results that you're looking for. See, I think social media has gotten so many of us thinking that we can live behind these screens in these cameras and everything is just this facade. Everything will just stay on the internet. Everything is just a roast and a gag and a kiki. No, it gets real in real life, especially when you plan with individuals that are uncomfortable with their sexuality. It gets really, really dangerous. And I know that from personal experience because I have a lot of friends who mess around with DL men who sleep with D.O. men. I personally would never do it because it's a very, very dangerous situation. You invite these D.O. men to your home, you, you mess around you mess around with them, then they feel like you're gonna go tell somebody. So what they end up doing, they end up hurting you, murdering you. So they know that you're not gonna tell anybody because in their mind, they can't believe that they just, you know, had a sexual experience with another guy. It's happened to countless and countless and countless of countless of people that I know personally who like to mess with straight men. And then after they mess around, the straight man is so afraid that somebody is gonna find out that they end up murdering that boy. So my thing is this, I don't play with DL men like that. I don't, I don't even, you know, if you wanna, because a lot of them will hurt you because they're so afraid of being found out. They are willing to go to jail. They are willing to kill you. And so you have to understand if you're going to get in the game of exposing, then that's just that, that, that comes with the territory. She was talking a lot of crap and she was, and, and so, you know, I would be honest with you. I wouldn't have killed the lady. I'd have definitely popped her though. I'd have definitely popped, cause that's, that, that wasn't her place. And a lot of people are saying, well, she should expose these men. She should expose, she should expose. Who should she expose them for? You, your selfish game. For you to know that these men are gay? She don't have to expose anybody for, like, pe they don't have to tell you anything. They don't owe you shit. I, I get so tired of these people, people in general, 
you know, particularly women, they feel like they need to know if another man is on the DL. No, you don't. If the nigga's not sleeping with you, if the nigga's not dating you, if the nigga's not dating your friend, your mama, your sister, your daughter, it's not your business. It's not your business. And me personally, I wouldn't be taking up on myself to warn anybody. Girl, that's not my business. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Because now look what happened. You got to remember, I used to do a lot of those like DL um, exposing stories with the transgenders. I had to stop that because I did not want one of those transgenders to come up missing at the account of me doing a breaking a story or getting an exclusive or getting some followers or some coins off of that. I would not feel good if something would have happened to one of those transgenders. Now they can go anywhere else and expose. I'll be here for the tea, but I'm not looking for them to go expose on my platform. And to be honest with you too, I don't want nobody really doing a lot of exposing to my platform because I don't want them niggas coming after me. So I say that to say, um, it's an unfortunate situation on both sides, but she got what she asked for. She, 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 she bucked the system and she got, she really did. She really did. Um, you can't play with people like that. And, and for these DL men, you got to get it together. You got to get it under wraps as well. But it, be very cautious when getting into the realm of exposing because if you try to take, because, you know, you, you try to hurt somebody like that or embarrass somebody like that, a person will hurt you. So it's all fun and games until it's off the internet and it's real life. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, follow me on Instagram at the Armand Wiggins Show. And let's keep it groovy, baby.